What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to uh, episode number two of our Pokemon Volt White. Uh, Nuzlocke that we're doing here on the channel. In the last episode, we basically got up to here where I asked you guys to choose my starter and uh, which will influence the shenanigans that uh, take place in the next couple of episodes. And uh, a combination of what the comment section said and what I kind of want to do, uh, I kind of want to choose Snivy. So we're going to go ahead and choose Snivy. Is this the Pokemon that you want? Yes, indeed. We are going to choose Snivy, and there is only one good nickname for Snivy. It's it's the most common nickname um, because it's what a lot of people called it. So we'll nickname that in a second. But Ooh, I'll take this Pokemon, Sherrod. That one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Tepic from the start anyway. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Yeah, that's right. Do not mess up my stuff. Don't be a worry what or <laughs> I mixed their voices there. Oh, don't be a worry what. These one these little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they get stronger. It's settled, Geo. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Alright, so this is our first uh, battle of the Nuzlocke. However, the Nuzlocke still actually hasn't started because it doesn't actually start until we get our Pokeballs. Uh, so we don't get absolutely destroyed just right here. So I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, but she sent out Oshwat, and I do have super speed enabled. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and super speed, um, fight, fight me, fight me, fight me back. Um, so we're basically just gonna spam our way through this battle with tackle, um, because uh, tackle is the best move in the game. Choice bandit, Snivy's tackle, uh, Oko's mega Charizard Y. No, just kidding. That's that's not actually a thing. That'd be the most like broken thing in existence. And we actually pick up the KO, which is cool. Uh, so we're gonna get a 76 e EXP points, which is pretty rad. However, one weak Pokemon that does actually Oko Mega Charizard X is Choice Scarf Bunnelby act in a vacuum beats Mega Charizard Y because a, a Choice Scarf Rock Slide does like something stupid like 150 <laughs> percent. So that's cool. Gosh dang it, messed up all all my room. Oh wow. You, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell, no doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? You cause all this mess, what are you doing? Bianca, I told you so, the robot is always right, robot master race. Oh, whoa, what has happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, Gio. You... Are completely hopeful. <laughs> Sharon just laying it down. He he's brutally honest with Bianca. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Sharon healed uh, both of our Pokemon. Hey Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you are right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Tepig. Alright, so we're taking on Sharon here. We're speeding through this because it's basically just going to be tackle spam again. Um, and this is Tepig level 5. Tepig is level 5 and we are level 6, so ha! We have the slight advantage here. I'm actually going to go for a Leer first. Um, hopefully you don't go for like a growl or something. You just went straight away for a tackle and did a nice four damage. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and tackle, and uh, we're gonna be able to easily three hit KO that Tepic guys. Um, that uh, initial defense drop that we got uh, from Slimey really does help uh, to uh, enact a sweep or uh, late game cleaning with uh, Slimey. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we go to level seven. That's cool, and we get our stab move, which is nice. We get Vine Whip. Ah, uh, so that's a Pokemon battle. We got five hundred dollars for winning. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but I have this feeling I'm finally a trainer. But first, we'd better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I'd better... Oh, I'm, I messed up. Oh, I'd better come too. Alright, bye guys. Um, is this a Wii? It's a Wii console. It's not even scratched. Wow, we Wiis are just indestructible through the forces of Pokemon. You guys probably didn't know that, and I hope you guys don't hear my dog in the background, because that would be embarrassing. He's like in the trash can or something, he, or he's just running out of the soda can. I can't really type, quite tell. Well, um, we can clean up. 
Oh, cleaning up? There's no worries. I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper for the Pokemon. I'll be waiting in front of this Pokemon research lab. Oh, wait. Oh, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. All right, uh, so they're going to run off, which is cool. Um, and we're going to talk to our mom real quick. Um... Oh, my, my, Geo. Your Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I can hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Like I said, guys, I'm really bad with uh, girls' voices. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna talk regular. Oh, and you know, after your battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Thank you very much, Mom. Thank you very much. And hope there's not an echo, because I had opened my door because my dog was whining. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Wow, okay, walking away because I'm recording. You're cool. <laughs> oh, your Pokemon look great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your bicycle and phone. So sweet. Dreano gives us the bicycle, like, straight off the bat, which is really super duper neat. And uh, we get the bicycle, which is neat, uh, like I just said. You're going to thank the professor, too, right? Better go, honey. All right, so for the, for the sake of my own embarrassment, I think I'm just going to do my own voice for uh, women. N and not anything, like... Oh, women don't get their own voice. That That is not at all what I mean. And a bunch of swoop out there. That's pretty cool. That is not at all what I mean by that. I hope you guys know that. Um, it's basically just me. Um, it's it's bit, like, I, I don't want to embarrass myself and I don't want to kill your guys' ears. Um, so I had to run in here to trigger this. And I, I actually want to see if there's anything up here. Because, um, I, like, I I, like I said in the last episode, I've actually never played Black White. Um, but I've seen people play it, so it's kind of this like secondhand uh, blur to me. And I am I speeding up? Yeah, I'm speeding up. Uh, the speed up just isn't as fast as I originally thought it was. Um, all right, we got to talk to all these people and uh, find out where we shall be going. Okay, there's nothing up there. Yeah, I know we have to go uh, stop by the professor's professor's crib. Uh, which looks to be here. Is there a house over here? No. Nah. Alrighty. Okay, let's go meet the professor. Alright, we, we all piling in here. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Wow, Sharon cutting off again. Rude Sharon. Um... Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Jupiter, and I am researching with when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle, so maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you give a would you like to give a nickname to your Pokemon? Yes, we would. Uh, we are going to name this thing Smugleaf. Uh, because that is, like, the best name for this thing ever. That's what everybody was calling it. I hope it's gonna be able to fit. And sorry if you guys can see my mouse on the bottom screen. Um, it's just, it saves so much time by doing this. I'll, I'll see if I can find a way to make my mouse disappear, but I highly doubt I can. Oh, uh -huh, I see. So you're gonna know what, so you, so, are, are you okay with the nickname Smugleaf? Yes, I am. Uh, Smugleaf. Smugleaf is his name. That's such a great name. That's why I gave you all Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Chan. You have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. Okay, we don't need this long dialogue. Uh, we know what a Pokedex is. Thank you very much. So, uh, we're gonna run through uh, this dialogue real quick. Uh, we do end up picking up the Pokedex, which is cool. And we have to meet her at Route 1 to find out how to catch the Pokemans. Alright, we out of here. Okay, this is our mom. Oh, hey, we did, you. That's like my one girl voice I have. Oh, there you are, and What did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokemon X? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already know she was going to ask. That's why I brought the three of you town maps. Take them with you. Thank you very much. Um, here you are, Sharon. I will take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. I thought, thank you. Um, as your room, Gio, or what's left of it, no need to worry. I'll take care of the tidying up. Okay, Gio? 
Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute that they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They're <laughs> really something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. You're darn right, because I'm going to win this game. No, just kidding. I'm probably going to lose it, Clay. I'll let your parents know. I hope that. In addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places uh, you like in the Innova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Thank you very much. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor is waiting. Let's, let's go, let's go. Ajio, hurry and come to- Wait, you're telling me to hurry, yet you were the one who was late for this initial excursion. Geo, it's this way! Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Geo! Let's take the first step on Route 1 together! Okay, here we go. One, two, route one. I actually really like the art style in this game. It sure, it sure is. Come on, the professor is waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain the Pokedex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up to that... It's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Alright, uh, time for the super speed. Time, time for the super speed. Time for the super speed. Time for the super speed. Time for the super speed through all this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. We know what to do. Ooh, ooh. I'm singing to the red and blue. Right, uh, uh, one theme. Dun, dun, dun. 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 Dun, 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 Alright, so that, my terrible singing got us through that. Did you see that just now? Here's how I go, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon HP. Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it, and to wrap this up the best way. I have a gift for you, some Pokeballs. Can you obtain the Pokeballs? Pokeballs! Uh, Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. Well, that's mighty cool. Thank you very much. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumula Town, too. I think I'll go as well. Looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Geo, Sharon, I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting, too. Would you listen to me for a sec? Seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from the Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh, that actually sounds interesting. I'm playing a Nuzlocke. That is unfair to me. It will fill up Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the Professor too. Okay then, until we reach a cumulant town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Ultra Wants will do the best for sure. Alright, not a problem. Alright, so we are actually going to see how many Pokeballs uh, we, we were given have to get used to using the, the menu in this game. Uh, I set it to where it's like the same direction as like standard. Um, the same controls as like the standard DS, but so very rarely do I actually play the DS. So uh, we actually have five Pokeballs. So we're gonna run around in here real quick. See what our first encounter is. Add to our team. Ends up being a Bidoof. And Bidoof actually isn't necessarily terrible in this game. Cause I do believe it gets moody. Um, it's, I think it's Moody or Simple. That was a crit. That was a nice crit. So we'll see if it has Moody. Yes, it has Moody. So that's actually really cool. Speed rose sharply and uh, attack fell. All right. Um, so we are going to use um, a Pokeball here. I was kind of hoping to get a Zigzagoon on the first route so we could uh, reincarnate Dumpster Diver. Um, so uh, while we are... Uh, actually, let's deal with Bidoof first before I answer today's question of the video. Badoof the plump mouse Pokemon. A comparison revealed that Badoof's front teeth grow at the same rate as Rattata's. Um, what are we gonna give a nickname to Badoof? Um, we're gonna nickname you Useless. <laughs> because Badoof isn't very good, even with uh, Moody. Its best ability is probably Simple. Uh, because uh, simple, if you guys don't know, doubles all stat changes. So, for example, if you use like Sword Stance, which Bidoof doesn't get Sword Stance, but if you end up using Sword Stance, um, then it gets you to a plus two or plus three as opposed as opposed to plus two. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna heal up real quick. Um, and then after this, I'm gonna check to see how fast I can get the super speed to speed up. Because if I'm gonna have to go this fast when grinding, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Um, anyway, we're gonna run up here. We're gonna talk to this person. 
Wild Pokemon are hiding in the tall grass. What does this mean for you? It means when you want to battle or catch a wild Pokemon, you should walk in the tall grass. Alrighty, thank you very much. And I accidentally hit A instead of B. Good job. Good job. Oh, encounter. Oh, uh, we have a Pidgey. Uh, that's actually scary. I gotta run. Even though I don't think you have Flying Stab yet. Um, Bird Spam. Bird Spam 3 OP. Is your Pokemon's HP alright? Whenever your Pokemon's HP decreases while you're on the road, it can be a big problem, so I'll give you this. Put it in your bag's medicine case. I obtained a potion, so that's actually really cool. That's actually going to be really helpful for later. Um, and we have one more encounter here, and which is a level 6 Centrum. My lord, there's a lot of actually really good Pokemon. Uh, not really good Pokemon, but fairly high-leveled Pokemon in this grass. And you ate that up. Wow, I think Drayano gives, gave Centra a defense boost. Um, and you're using defense curl, make, meaning you're gonna be pain in the butt uh, to be. You have dizzy punch. Please don't confuse me. Yes. All right. We're gonna tackle again. Uh, don't knock me out by some freak occurrence. Don't end our lock this early. Actually, our lock wouldn't be over, but we would have to use a Bidoof, which would really stink. Anyway, Smug Leaf is level eight. That's actually really handy. Uh, and we're gonna heal up because I actually don't know what is going to be up here. And, um, so this is more of, like, a blind let's play. Um, so we're gonna run in here. How about a you? Do you want to compare which one of us is the most popular with him? Yeah, sure, whatever. See if the number of Pokemon you has is two. We all have the same number, then. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many Pokemon you've caught. I'm off to Accumulate Town. The professor is waiting. The x Transceivers ring! Actually, cross Transceiver. <laughs> Hello, how's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Um, this Bianca speaking, right? Oh, Professor, right now I'm in front of Accumulatown's... Oh, um, <laughs> right now I'm in front of Accumulatown's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so come on, everyone, hurry. Alright, that's cool. The first couple of parts in this game are going to be a little slow. I'm actually going to run down here, So I think we get something down here. I'm not 100% sure. What's this? You and your Pokemon somehow resemble each other. Oh, well, that's cool. Do we get an item down here? Um, we're going to run through all these people. Uh, because we would like to grab the item that is potentially in here. Oh, he envies us because we're a trainer. That is cool. Thank you, fellow. Um, what about you? All right, we, there was nothing to get from this house, except maybe in this trash can. Trash can is empty. All right. A bad guy game freak decides to put, like, leftovers in, like, one in every 1,000 trash cans. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I said, the first couple of parts are going to move a, bit, a little bit slow in this series. And, uh, wow, Professor Juniper is touring us through all this. I'm going to go ahead and answer today's question, a common question of the video, uh, which is, should I be allowed to use legends in this series? Personally, my opinion on this is I should be allowed to use one legend at a time, um, because I think using a full team of legends is a little bit stacked. And, but uh, not using any kind of punishes me for even trying to encounter that, like even pursuing their encounter. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, generally, I think that I sh I think I should be able to use one at a time. Um, yeah. But uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below, because uh, this is probably gonna be where we end off today's episode we really just progressed with the first route because super speed is really really slow i gotta find a way to fix that because uh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt if it's that slow um but to end off the episode we're gonna box useless uh because useless needs to be boxed um and we're actually gonna organize our boxes um we're gonna go to move and we're going to uh wow i'm just so incredibly terrible at this name um the name need, needs to be r.i.p or r.i.p in pieces if i can fit that <laughs> um i'm just gonna go cordy because i know how to type on this r i actually no we're just gonna go r.i.p there we go so that'll be that'll make things a lot easier to name and whatnot i should get my mouse off the bottom screen shouldn't i and then uh this is just gonna be cool stuff so uh, you're actually out of a nature moody that's actually kind of cool um all right we're gonna get out of here so uh, that is gonna wrap up today's um episode 
of uh, Pokemon Volt White. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the series and the stuff that I'm doing here. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, um, which can, which is, uh, should I be able to use Legends? That can be found on the right side of the layout. Additionally, make sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. With that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.